But uh, here's, a, here's another tough story this morning, but a very important one. Around 70,000 babies are lost to stillbirth or miscarriage in Australia every year. Now, to put this, this figure sort of in perspective, the total number of deaths from all types of cancer is about 43,000. Now, May is the uh, National Pregnancy Loss Awareness Month and to remember the babies lost. Parents can light a candle for them online to share their experience this morning. Carolyn and Tony Hansen, along with Pinky McKay, Ambassador for the Small Miracles Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, good morning Karen. Pinky, can you give us an overview of the Light a Candle Month and, and what it means? That's right. People can go to Light a Candle website, and that's www.lightacandle.org.au, and light a candle for a baby who's been lost either through miscarriage, stillbirth or an infant death. And it doesn't mm -hmm. matter whether it's recent or long ago because often people don't get the opportunity to talk about it. They don't get the opportunity to share and that acknowledgement is really a and that's, start. And that's the whole focus the, is that acknowledgement. Is the focus, acknowledgement, mm. yes. And that you're not alone. Mm. Tony Carolyn, you tragically um, uh, lost as well. Can you tell me your experience? Yep, um, we lost, had a miscarriage at 11 weeks, um, so we found out at our first obstetrician appointment that we had a And this a was your, your first our baby? Our first baby, yeah. yep. Um, and yeah, it was devastating for us at the time, it was our whole world and um, yeah. And yeah, it was, and that was brought to our attention that one in four pregnancies end in that fashion, so mm. we weren't aware of that statistic beforehand and it really brought to light. Yeah, doesn't make it any is. easier at the time, though, does it? No, no. no not at all. But what does make it easier is the fact that we've had children since, mm -hmm. and the fact and we've, we've got them in the studio with us this morning. Certainly, happy do. little chappies having a nice little time there. We haven't got any lights up over there at the moment, but um, the, you know we've the kids are. Oh, out. and here comes one. Good morning, darling. This is Lily. <laughs> So this was some years ago. Now, Certainly. in your terms, um, because it was some years ago. Why is it this this awareness important to you, Tony? It's, you know, you're a guy, one half of the relationship. Why yeah. is it important for you? I think it's um, important to go through that process of grieving for the the child that never came, but at the same time, um, yeah, realizing how lucky we are that we can have children, which, which a lot of people can't. So. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just more common these days that men are starting to talk about it as well. And it is difficult for men. For sure. It, men don't always cope with it, Carolyn, would you agree, as as well as women. There's no easy, there's no sort of handbook they and everybody have, reacts differently. Yeah, they don't have the physical process that they're going through, that mm. the women are going through, so I guess it's difficult for them to understand um, what it's like and, yeah, so, mm. but I think guys these days definitely have more of an involvement and... Yeah, and there, there are many stories like this, Pinky, aren't there? That's right, and I think uh, when I've when I've talked to men about it, they often say they go back to work, they're holding the space for their partner, and everybody says, "How is she?" They're not mm. saying, "And how are you?" Mm. And even the modern woman, when she goes back to work, you know, if you've lost a baby, you haven't got maternity leave. You're mm. back at work, and there can be overwhelming grief happening. At odd times, things can trigger you. So it's well, it a is dilemma. an important. It is an important month, and you can go online as you suggested. All the information is uh, up there, and also posted on our website. But um, uh, for for being brave to discuss this this morning and telling us your personal story, we really do appreciate it. And kids are happy and healthy, having a great time over there this morning. Uh, Carolyn, Tony, and Pinky, thank you for your thanks. Time. And thank they you. can get counselling. They can speak to yeah. a counsellor and share their story. Excellent. And like that so candle. So important at times. Yes. More coming up after this.